All right, I appear to be streaming. That's good to know. All right, now for the tricky part, figuring out how to actually track what it is I'm doing and view the um, the chat. Let's see if there's a way for me to do that. Hmm. Well, we're going to close this real quick. And, uh... Okay, so it says I'm going. Um, of course, I can't read the chat to know, so... Uh, I'm seeing if I can find a way. Let's see if, uh... See if the YouTube app is going to be helpful with this. Because I would really like to be able. I mean, it's according to this, I'm live. <clears throat> but I'm not seeing any indication of that, so that's. A little annoying. Ah, here we go. Well, that apparently has some indicator to it. So, let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay, that seems to be seems to be working. So let's. Uh, hello, Elu. How you doing? Okay, so I found a way to look at the chat. Nice. Very good. Betty, Betty, good. All right, and I think that'll keep working as long as I keep the... As long as I keep that where it's at, I should be able to draw and people can watch me. Hey, Lou, me lad, how you doing today? Good to see you for, for this fine, fine experiment I have going on here. So, um, I figured I would try to draw my Doom guy. I thought that would be kind of a fun thing to try and do. Oh, well, that's an interesting fact. Apparently, I'm using less CPU streaming to YouTube than I was streaming to Twitch, which theoretically makes sense. And, Brock, you can just hush right now. Um, that actually does kind of make sense because I've got more stuff running when I do the... Um, when I do my Twitch stream than with this one. So, all right, so... Let's just start off with a little blue blue pencil sketch here of what it is I'm trying to do. So I was thinking I would try to draw my Doom guy. Um, all right, so somebody wants my help with something. Uh, so that is, uh, oh, that's a Twitter thing, um, which I can certainly handle after I am done doing my doodle and doom guys test here so but uh, basically i'm just comparing services here so um so is that on the screen or is that what, what's going on here okay so all right um all right so we're gonna do a blue pencil sketch here so i was thinking i wanted to do like just sort of a little thing with my my doom guy holding Corey or something so you know we'll give him a little see that'll be doom guy's body i suppose and and then um, Corey will be here, I suppose. This will be Corey. He will be represented by EA. And, of course, you know, got to have the handle. Corey's got a handle on his head. And, uh, you know, all the... Yeah, yeah, you know. You get the idea. We'll do all the exact stuff a little later. Yeah, hey, Bopkins, what's up? Is this the Bob Ross channel? It will be, doggone it. So, all right, and then uh, just one of my hands will be here. I will, uh, let's see, let's, you know, do, 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 just so we know where the hand is. Uh, we'll put the other hand like, yay, something like that, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm just testing out this, uh, this idea I have for doing live drawing. I already tested it on Twitch, and now I'm going to be doing it... Uh, 
uh, I'm testing it on um, uh, on YouTube so I can get some test footage here so um, now do 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 and you do do something like that I don't I don't have the exact uh, you know what we're gonna control Z that real quick and um, I think that it actually goes more like this if I'm not mistaken I'm trying to do my my doom guy from memory here so okay and then you know he's got a big old here yeah he, he's, he's a happy guy so I remember that much I know my doom guy is a happy guy so all right and then he's got like four eyes and, and lots and lots of teeth and it's really really fun hey what's up rejecting gamers how you doing I just saw your tweet um, I was in the middle of trying to do some live drawing here so I um, um, I did not respond right away here but I, I saw you had a tweet said you need some help Is this something you can ask me about right here um, I'd be happy to answer it um, <laughs> little tree little sky yeah just a just a happy little white power core just a little happy white power core there oh yeah and that's right I got that glowy thing on the chest there so I gotta make sure I incorporate that and some some things for the collar and uh, you know I really should be looking at like a picture for reference but I'm just this is meant to be just more of a test here so so it's just my little doom guy being happy hanging out with Corey so um, okay so and then we gotta sort of uh, we gotta iron that out just a little I think just to swiggity swamp and swiggity swamp um, all I was wondering is if I could get a recording for an opening of a video um, yeah like uh, Wolf, like uh, tell me a little more about your your project what's uh, you need to just like do an intro or like just a whole spiel or something or I mean, I'm I'm certainly more than happy to help out. Let's, uh, what can I do you for? Um, and uh, hopefully that's something I can record as like an MP3 or an MP4 or something like that. Um, I can certainly do that probably tonight. Um, but here, a little coffee. And of course we need ourselves one of those uh, big chunky things that has all the smiley faces on it, so... And we'll put that right about yay with some do ba da ba ba da ba do. Um, I can't remember if oh yeah, then it sort of goes like that and like that. I'm doing so much off of memory here. I really should not be, but all right. So let's let's actually look at my canvas size here because I have a feeling I kind of yeah. No wonder everything was looking sort of weird to me. Um, I was working in the wrong size the whole time. How about that? All right. Well, that's easy enough to fix now, isn't it? All right. I said it's easy enough to fix. All right, fine. We'll use the mouse. You want to be that way, you silly Wacom. All right. So, so there we go. There. Now we're filling out the canvas there. All right. So MP4 works. Um, just ha asking how I got your number. MP4 works. You're doing better than I would. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, yeah, just so uh, just be, me being like, uh, who is this? Re reject? How, how'd you get my number? Something like that, you know. Hey, RGF Solid, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, what's up? Sweetie, do you need something? Hmm? Are you good? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I can certainly record something like that tonight. Um, it's, I'm gonna have to wait till. Uh, I will wait until I, I I get the little into bed and everything's all nice and quiet in here before I can do that. Yeah. Not a problem. Um, okay. Let's get another layer going. We've locked that layer and we're gonna do the black black pen is next. So get ourselves a little color black here. Set up our brush. And for the, uh, let's see, we're doing just basic general outline stuff. So I'm thinking, you want to start off with a 10 here? All right, so, oh, uh, let me think here. So it's going to be something like, complete with all the singing and stuff, yeah. I don't like that. That did not come out well. All right. 
this is why we're supposed to be using reference pictures, Zilla. All right, let's see here. So the, I remember the sort of headdress thingy that my Doom guy wears is, uh, um, hey Taylor, what's going on? Uh, how's the beta? Bobkins asks. So, um, the problem I'm having with working on the beta is that I basically can't do anything on my Xbox anymore if my daughter is up, uh, cause she just, she's really gotten into Minecraft these days. Um, so that's kind of a problem. All right, we're going to get rid of that. Um, as for the question of what is this? Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do sort of a cartoony version of my doom guy holding Cory. Um, I'm still learning things on the old Wacom here. So obviously I'm not going for precision and this is more of a tech test for me right here. So, um, you know, not really going for like speed or accuracy or anything like that. Just I, I need I just need about an hour of footage that I can review later and kind of figure out whether doing these streams on YouTube or Twitch will be better. You know, I'm gonna need to put something underneath my uh, my pad here because it likes to move around on me, but. Let me think. I think it's actually more like that. So this is not what I would call a serious attempt to try to, especially if I'm going to keep drawing lines like that. It's not what I'd call a serious attempt to render my Doom guy as a cartoon. It's just really more of a quick, dirty, see, see if I can actually like stream for an hour with little to no latency kind of thing. Uh, Devil City 2 Electric Boogaloo would be great. Um, so the, the map I'm actually um, working on uh, right now is for... Uh, it's, it's this weird idea I got. I showed it off a little bit during one of my other streams. And the idea is that it, it does a lot of RNG stuff. Like, um, <coughs> like it, it creates... A, it creates three different characters that sort of are based on random names like it even generates random names for them and stuff and then um it you know okay let's see here i want to give him happy eyes uh it generates random names uh for the each of the names and loadouts for each of the characters and then um and then everything about it is random, and it's it's set up like a game show, and so you know you're a con you're one of, you're one of three possible contestants on a game show, and so that's sort of what the new map is all about. Um, the thing I'm running into here is actually like I've got the technical sort of nuts and bolts of the um, of the board kind of figured out uh what's tricky is the, the the actual part that's tricky for me here is uh filling in sort of all of the stuff for the databases that are required so i'm i'm sort of in the middle of doing that and you know what i just realized something i would probably be having a much easier time here if i took the opacity down of my sketch there we go all right that's better all right and wow we can see i did a terrible job on those lines um you know what? Screw it. We're, we're just here to have fun. Just here to have fun. We're not trying to do a serious thing. So, if we were here to do a serious thing, I would actually have a picture. Hey, what's up, Clown Slay? How you doing? Good to see you. So, I'm just here testing out some uh, live drawing equipment here. Um, trying to see if I can get this to work for me. All right, you know what, let's just get this hand out of the way here so that I... Look at me just meat pawing Cory there. Yeah. Actually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to draw Cory on a separate layer. That's going to... Oh, yeah, and I got the big, the big thingies on my hands there, so that's going to help. There we go. That kind of connects everything together nicely. Do, do and like that. 
Yeah, I didn't like that last line. I gotta stop trying to do multiple things with one line. Like, it's an old cartooning habit. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Did you draw your face there? Yep, that is one of mine. That is a self-portrait I did. Uh, back when my hair was shorter. <laughs> and I had less sideburn. Um, but that is a, that's an old self-portrait. I, I drew a new one today while I was testing out the Wacom. And I got that posted on my Facebook page. So... Uh, nah, nah, it looks pretty cool. Very good. How? Um, got a question from a friend. Are Snap Maps cross-platform with PC? They certainly are. Yes, they are. Uh, you, you create a Snap Map on any platform, and it works on all platforms. Uh, next question was, how accurate is the pen? Hard to draw with? It takes some getting used to. The, the, the challenge for me isn't necessarily the accuracy of the pen. It's that I can't look. At, I'm so used to it when I draw, I'm looking at where my pen is. With this, I, I have to look at the screen. And the thing is, like, in order to get where the cursor is, like, I'm hovering the pen over the over the tablet right now. And then, you know, and I but I don't accurately know how far I got to drop the pen to actually get it to touch the, the tablet. So I'm still getting used to that part. But, you know, it took me lo a lot less time to get used to than I thought it would. Um, I'm still sort of having a hard time sort of like conceptualizing from start to finish, which is why I'm not actually trying to do anything real serious. And I just realized something. The arm actually should start up here. That's a shoulder pad, not part of the arm. So we'll do like that. Give it like a little shoulder ma pad thing there. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty good. So um, were you a cartoonist? Um, never sort of officially. I mean, I, I, I used to do caricatures uh, at like state fairs and things like that. Um, and I've done, I, I do professionally. I, I draw things for people. Um, I recently had a problem with some of my equipment. And that's why I haven't been drawing for a while. Uh, and so I'm in, I'm sort of, I'm borrowing a Wacom tablet from someone because I'm fundraising to get new equipment. And originally I was trying to get myself a new slate, but you know, with these experiments I've been doing with the, uh, with the Wacom, I may just, just friggin' get a Wacom of my own. Um, I have to give this back in like a month and a half, so I'm not going to have it forever, but. Uh, I'm trying to use it to raise some money. So, hey, if anybody wants to commission a drawing of themselves or their Doom guy or, you know, just whatever, shoot, you know, hit me up. I'll uh, I'll give you a good price because you're good people. Um, all right. What do we got? Uh, all snap maps can be played. Is it like a mouse that you can adjust the movement speed? Um, you Okay, so the way the tablet works is it actually like... Um, so Okay, real quick. So say this is your screen, right? This is also roughly the size of the Wacom tablet. So if you put the, the pen right about here on the Wacom tablet, your cursor is going to be about here. So it's it's sort of one-to-one. -one. Now you can, you can adjust that. Um, you can sort of... A, a, you, can, you can sort of adjust like how much of it like for instance if i only want to use like a little section of the wacom tablet at all times y you can tell it to do it that way um i i actually i found that like the wacoms have like a ton of features in them and i actually had to like remove a lot of the functionality to make this thing work for me because like it was it had just had too much stuff going on in it so and i just realized something why am i drawing i keep trying to draw Corey's lines i want to draw him on a separate tablet so, or a, a separate layer so i can adjust him a little better um yeah bopkins you want a picture of psychotron cool like spike psychotron fighting brock disco what's going on i just got here what's up captain falcon um uh i j i got my hands on a wacom somebody's loaning me a wacom for about a month and a half and so um i'm in sort of fundraising mode and so i want to test out my ability to do live drawing and so I am, I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to be drawing for about an hour here just to kind of test uh, my ability to do it. Um, I will say this much so far, um, the, th the advantage of streaming on Twitch is that I have more opportunities to, you know, sort of to, to do fundraising stuff. Like I, have a, I can have a tip jar and all this other stuff, which I can't really have on YouTube. 
um, at least not effectively. Um, but the advantages of drawing on YouTube is that my, my CPU usage is way lower for streaming on uh, for streaming on YouTube. So I'm really sort of torn about which one I'm going to do. Um, it also seems like I've, I've got more people watching me on, on YouTube. So um, there's that as well. Um, so, yeah. So I think I got... I think my character has a nose. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, man, if you want to you talk to me about uh, doing a uh, picture of Psychotron or something, you know what? This Corey, yeah, I really do want Corey to be on, a, on, a, on his own layer here. So... But yeah, if you want to talk to me about doing a, uh, a Psychotron portrait, uh, I can totally hook you up. You know? Um, there we go. Mm, yeah, I don't like that. Um, Psychotron can't dance. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> that's true. But that would be a kind of an interesting drawing to do. Brock Disco versus, you know, Psychotron. You know, you know what would be kind of cool if a bunch of us like that had like you know these sort of high profile maps all did like sort of a, um, it, it did like an all stars board. Like you start like you know you fight your way <coughs> through level one, you go fight Brock Disco, and then on the next level you like fight, um, oh who is like Glob Stomper from uh, from one of Shades Masters boards, and then you know if you you, you got to fight it, and then the next time you fight a one of the you fight like Horus from Eye of Horus, and then like the whole thing is like so you know like you know like it turns out like Psychotron was like pulling all of these like high profile uh, bosses from all these boards to get revenge on on somebody or something. I thought I thought that would be like kind of a fun board. Um, okay. Well, I feel like we've got kind of the asterisks. I want to start getting some of the finer line work going on here. So let's go ahead and switch to a five or so here. Now, as I recall, my character has really grody fingernails. So for him to have grody fingernails, he must first have fingernails. And uh, let's go ahead and add a third dimension to the hand thingums right here. Yeah, to do, and uh, come on. <sighs> All right, zoom in more then, I suppose. Okay, and I still do use the mouse from time to time for some of this finer manipulation, just because trying to use the pen when a mouse will do is just kind of silly. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. That sounds cool. Just a beginner among the best. <laughs> hey, we all had to start somewhere, man. Should play my first map sometime. It sucks out loud. Like, Sin of Greed is terrible. I I, I won't even replay that doggone thing. Like, <laughs> I think it's like the only map of mine that I've not replayed after posting. Like, I don't even care if I'm on the uh, leaderboard for it or not. Like, normally I would be like... I feel like it's, it's a polite thing to at least be on the leaderboard for whatever maps you post. But pff, I won't even bother for for Sin of Greed. I really just sort of put it up just as proof that everybody's first map sucks, including mine. Except for Taylor Head. He just... Taylor Head bucks every trend. So, um, alright. So that's that's line weight two. Alright. I think that's going to come out nicely. Alright. Good, good. Um, anything while I'm there than that close? Oh, maybe it's time to work on Mr. Mouthy Mouth here. Um, now the other thing, of course, that's going to stop me from doing any sort of collab boards is, is currently I'm batting, I'm batting zero for two on collaborations. <laughs> like, I am so terrible about collaborations. Like, um, a lot of it is just you know, I I my attention span is crud. So, uh, let's see. I would love to like do a t-shirt of like something like this. If this comes out well enough, I'm going to I'm going to post it on Zazzle as a t-shirt. Even if I'm the only person that buys it, I don't care. There we go. And then we can just color in the rest and why are we even doing it manually? Oh man, oh man, oh man. I have so many tools to work with here. Where's my uh where's my dump bucket? Dump bucket. 
Uh, nope. Nope. Where's the dad blasted dump bucket? Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. Um, weird. Okay. Um, oh, right, because of that. Okay, well, fine. Be that way. All right, and then we still got to clean it up because raster. All right. <clears throat> All right, take it easy. Good to see you then. All right. I've come to kick ass and watch some doodles, and I'm all out of kick ass. <laughs> What's up, Jernis? How you doing? Yes, I have I have come to doodle my doom guy. I'm uh, t testing out the old, the, the, well, new. Um, I, I won't. It's not even that new. I'm borrowing it from a friend, but uh, I'm borrowing a uh, a Wacom tablet, and uh, I'm in sort of fundraising mode to to buy my own. I have about a month and a half before I lose this one, so um, I need to figure out ways of doing live drawing to get people sort of interested in what it is I'm doing. So, um, yeah. So this is sort of a test stream. I'm I'm just sort of work, working off the cuff. I haven't I don't I haven't given myself any reference drawings or anything. I can't remember off the top of my head what my Doom guy looks like, but so I'm just sort of trying to do it from memory. So I'm making a silly drawing of of my doom guy uh uh laughing jovially while he holds Corey. so i have an idea in my head for a much cooler picture but i want to have like reference materials handy before i even think about it you know i'm in my badass armor oh yeah you know it and someday I will make a badass drawing of the badass armor. It will be awesome. Don't you know it. Alright, so... But I'm going to try to get as far as I can in the next 45 minutes on this drawing, because... Alright, so... And then we got to do a little shady shade for the back teeth here, I think. Probably should have gone with a thinner brush, but again, I'm... I'm kind of rushing here. I don't even care. So, all right. Um, and then, uh, do do. Do do. Doodly do. Doodly do. Doodly do. Anybody here ever, like, I don't know how old people are here, but there, there used to be this thing Bill Cosby used to do when he was, when I was, like, really young called Picture Pages. And he would, every time he'd draw with his pen, it made, like, a little, like, noise, like, doodly doodly do, and, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, I mean, yeah, it's sort of a more tragic thing now, but, you know, because Bill Cosby, it turns out, was kind of a scum. But uh, back in the day, you know, before we knew he was scum, he was a children's and silly adults entertainer. So, let's see, there we go, there we go, and little shine marks there. So, let's go ahead and give him little eyebrows there, too. Why not? So, okay, what do we got? Boop, boop, boo, how, how far along are we? Okay, so there's the four eyes, the horny horn things. Um, doo, doo, doo. Let's, uh, let's put some work into this little doodad here. All right, so I think uh, we'll start with about a five, maybe. All right, and... Uh, there we go. Steady, steady. Boop, there we go. Okay. Now, let's get them smiley faces up in there. You know, honestly, like the re the real reason I started doing the smiley faces thing is because when you squint your eyes, they look like dusty dots. Like, I don't know if we have any wrestling fans watching right now, but um you know i i'm a r i am love dusty roads man and uh i was trying to go for the dusty dots look so yeah yeah and yep brock get in here now come on get in the house you thought about getting maya what is maya I am not familiar with that term. I mean, apart from the, you know, the 
the uh, ancient uh, pyramid builders in South America. Obvs, obvs, but yeah, I don't know what Maya is. Um. Um, now watch this. It's going to be something I should totally know about because I draw. So, but yeah, uh, I do not know what a Maya is. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, that will that ain't going to work. Okay, neither is that. Come on. You know what? Why am I working so far away here? Let's zoom in a little. All right. Whoop, whoop. Happy, happy. Uh, let's make that one face in this direction. And uh, make ourselves, make things easier on ourselves just by having him peek over the side like, yeah. Uh, who would win in a fight, Doom Guy or Doom Fist? Oh, D pff, Doom Guy. <laughs> uh, and I don't even know who Doom Fist is, so whatever. But uh, 3D modeling software. Oh. Yeah, um, I have thought about so many things I would love to do if I had a computer that was an absolute butt. Um, I mean, one of the things one of the things that sort of holds me back artistically is that my computer um, is kind of suck in the uh, visuals department. Basically, any program that requires you to have OpenGL 2.0 or greater, which is pretty much Minecraft or more powerful, you know, like. I can't run it because I can't swap out the video card on this. This, this is a computer that was originally designed to just be used as like a server um, kind of thing. And so it graphically, it doesn't really do great. So um, I, I can do video editing with this computer, although it is kind of laggy because it's getting old. Um, and I can do like, you know, graphic design stuff because, you know, believe it or not, you know, when it like, when when it, when it comes down to it it does just fine with like you know simple dis, you know displaying colors and stuff but oh, why am i going into so much detail back there so I, it's most of it's going to get covered up anyway all right i do remember that there's a strap there but anyway um the the problem is that uh anything that requires modern you know shaders and things like that um uh, just won't work on my computer and so i i can't use them uh, which kind of sucks. So I would love to be able to do all kinds of stuff. Like I, like for instance, man, uh, I'll tell you, if this computer ran Unity, pff, I probably would have never learned SnapMap because, like, I have got so many ideas for games and stuff, and I just can't do any of them because this computer don't run nothing. There we go. And maybe just throw in a little seam here just to, you know. Doop, there we go. And there we go. Oh, nope, that was bad. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Doom Guy versus a Destiny Titan. Oh, well. Lots of game devs use it. Sup? Hey, Extra Halo, what's going on today, man? How you doing? Uh, wait, where did that line come from? What's that? Oh, that's the rest of his torso. How you doing? Good to see you, Extra Halo. Uh, Doom Guy versus a Destiny Titan? Well, um, if I recalled it correctly, Destiny Titans can be climbed, and Doom Guy is a climby mofo, so I would have to give the edge to Doom Guy on that one. Um, it also depends on, like, I mean, one of the things to keep in mind is that I, I've really been thinking of Doom Guy as functionally immortal. Like, I play so many snap maps where you know, between, you know, checkpoints and saves and stuff like that. Like, you know, as far as I'm concerned, Doom Guy's natural state is functionally immortal. So when he can take on, like, Lords of Hell and as a battle of attrition, then, yeah, at that point, you're pretty much, Doom Guy's got that edge, you know? You got that edge, yo. So that's my line of thinking on it. But feel free to disagree with me, anybody that wants to be wrong. I mean, anybody that has an opinion. All right, so I don't like the way that came out. Uh, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Just doing a little 
equipment test here, uh, trying to sort of measure the pros and cons of doing live drawing on uh, Twitch versus YouTube. Um, so far, like, I, I'm sort of, like, I like that streaming on YouTube seems to be less uh, resource intense. Like, I haven't had a single high CPU usage warning yet uh, from streaming on YouTube, which I had several while doing it on Twitch. But Twitch kind of makes certain things available to me that YouTube does not. Uh, most of them in the money making department, and again, I'm this uh, the live drawing thing is meant to be part of a fundraising effort. So, um, all right, I don't even know if that's a thing right there, but hey, okay. So I do recall though that there should be little cobra lines in there. Ah, you're buffering, huh? Okay. Anybody else been having buffering issues uh, during the stream here? Because I haven't gotten any sort of warnings whatsoever. And uh, close as I can tell, the stream has been running pretty smoothly. So please let me know if you've been having any issues with the stream. Uh, and that would be very handy to know. I mean, I'm going to be looking at the footage later, but knowing this stuff live as well would be super useful. So, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do a little dingle dee dupe over here. You like that? That's a, that's an art term right there, dingle dee dupe. A dingle dee dupe is when you add a line that probably doesn't need to be there. <laughs> But you do it anyway, because you're the artist, and who's going to argue with you? Nobody, that's who. <laughs> All right, let's get ourselves a, a pen five here. Um, do you think there will be a Doom 2 or just update for the snap maps? Oh, there will definitely be a Doom 2. Like, there's no question about that. Like, you know, I think the real question is, oh, Bethesda, do you guys like money? Well, then there's going to be a Doom 2 now, isn't there? <laughs> Like, you got to realize, man, the, the Doom, like, I mean, even if we're not talking snap maps here, even if we're not talking snap maps, Doom came out of, out of left field for so many people and just blew everything everybody came to understand about shooters right out of the doggone water. I mean, the only real problem is will Doom 2 come out before all the pretenders to the throne do, you know? So let's, uh, let's, let's do one of those little dillies right there. Um... So let's, uh, what's going on with this? Oh yeah, that's right, dude. My Doom guy's got sort of bare arms almost. Like, so there should be sort of a, a muscular kind of thing going on here. Um, which means I need to kind of change this uh, lineup a little bit, don't I? I think it does. I think it means that so much. So I gotta go back to my size 10 pen, I think. All right. God, this works so much better after I turned off all the uh, quote-unquote helpful features. Um, like originally, the helpful features kept causing extra button clicks, and oh, that is a weird-looking bicep. No, all right, like there we go, there we go. That's sort of bicepy, <laughs> bicepy, and his brother Giuseppe. <laughs> so I used to have a friend in high school uh, named Joe, but he was very Italian, so we called him Giuseppe. He loved it. Okay. No. 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 There we go. How about a little zoom in action over there? Hmm? How about it? How about it indeed? Um, let's see. Uh, Doom Guy Glory Killing Spider Mastermind. Oh, that's awesome. Would you want to see go to Earth like the original Doom 2? Um... I mean, it was hard to tell with the original Doom 2, if we're being completely honest. I mean, it was, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, it looked a lot like the, the first Doom. So it was, I mean, you know, story-wise, it was like hell on Earth. But uh, honestly, I would love to see Doom 2 go to Earth. Like, I, I think that would be, you know, awesome. You know. Uh, okay, so, and then, oh, you know what? You know what it needs? You know what, you know what this... this beefy arm here needs it needs a vein or something there no there yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go yeah that's sort of veiny another one there there we go oh well, I didn't mean to do that um 
Uh, redo. Redo. There we go. Okay. Zoom back out. Where are we at here? Ah, uh, poor Corey. Got no love. Uh, oh, hey. Got to do that other hand yet, don't we? I think I need a uh, size 3 brush for that. Okay. Um, hearing the audio cutting in and out every two seconds. Oh, that sucks. Um, let's see. I'm wondering if it's... I mean, is it like like a buffering cut in and out? Or is it like, you know, my... Like a loose cord cutting in and out? Because it could easily be both. This The cord on this thing sucks. Um, uh, all right. I mean, my audio was okay for the Twitch stream, but, I mean, d d let's put it this way. Is the video getting herky-jerky along with the cuts? Um, all right, there we go. Uh, yeah, original Doom 2 was pretty good. Uh, when was the first time you played the original Doom? Oh, boy. Um, wow, it wasn't too long after it came out, if I'm being completely honest, man. I'm, I'm an old sucker, you know. Um, let's see, another one of the Doops here. And some gross fingernails here. Um, wow, I can't even remember the first time I played Doom. It was a long time ago. I do remember back in... Oh, I was in college at the time, so it would have been about... Uh, somewhere between 94 and 96. 1994 and 1996. The very first computer I ever bought was specifically so I could make Doom wads with it. And... Um, I paid way too much money for it, and but I kept that computer forever. It was a uh, 486. It was a, some generic 486 that I bought off of. I used to work at a place called Computer City. Uh, they don't they don't exist anymore. Uh, they used to be owned by uh, Tandy, which is the same people that owned Radio Shack, another company that I don't even think exists anymore. And um, and so I used to work for them, and I. Um, had a customer coming in. They're like, oh, we're going to buy a Pentium, so we don't need this computer anymore. And I offered to buy it off them. Spent something to the tune of like $450 on it. And that was, you know, I mean, it was a pretty good price for back then. But holy cow, now that I think about it, like $450 for a 486, like terrible, you know. Um, but it was, it was pretty tits back then. So I'm glad I did it. And uh, I bought this disc that was just, chock full of all of this like make your own doom board stuff and it was all like you know tools that was made that were made by like the independent you know doom wad community but of course i didn't know that because i didn't know jack all i thought it was just going to be like oh this is one program that i can totally use and i'll be able to make my own doom boards and i like making my own stuff and i don't care and it was like no it was like every particular tool that you could think of was on this disc somewhere or another and in some way or another and it was it was it was confusing i mean i learned but it was confusing and but it was also pretty rewarding so um but yeah like i played the crap out of doom i, I had ultimate doom which included that like chapter where you rescue your rabbit so like you know i'm still wishing there was more love for that rabbit you know, nobody ever brings up the rabbit anymore. Um, so, um, anyway, is hopefully the audio is working out better now. Uh, oh, we want to... If we want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as I recall, those are yellow eyes. Now, let's see what time we got. 6.30 trying to have this done in like a half hour so uh, it's time to work on Corey I think and Corey will be a lot easier so I'm gonna lock this layer here and create a new layer for Corey Corey gets his own layer because Corey's a snot like that and I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a little cheating here I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna do some tool assisted line drawing here alright so that's do Duke do Duke and Duke. All right. And then, uh, well, uh, well, that'll do. Uh, Brock, get in here now. Get in here now. All right. There we go. 
and um, and then I think I can probably handle the rest by hand here but one thing that needs to happen here um, is let's see uh, all of that needs to get flattened into uh, a uh, let's see flatten selection flatten selection where is it at there we go there we go all right and then we are going to hide doom guy and sketch for a second here and just work on you so okay so now we're gonna need a I think a five will do all right what do you think about doom guy as a Templar theory I think all my snap maps all of us thank you you want to create a bastard without you snap maps would be boring as shit my pleasure thank you I I, I love helping people out what do I think about doom guy as a Templar theory I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like the one of the things I really liked about the campaign was the way Doom Guy just didn't care what the story was and was just sort of moving forward and doing his own thing. Because that was me all over. I I have so I I I I know a little bit about the lore because um like mostly because I really was like digging where like the way they were explaining creatures and stuff, but. To be completely honest, I did not really understand all that third act stuff about Templars and stuff. Um, so, I mean, it's possible, and if that's what they're going for, then great. And well, that's the other thing too, is I just realized the, um, uh, you know, the ser you know, the the, the storyline ends on a cliffhanger. So, I mean, of course, there's got to be a doom too. All right, that is a terrible picture of Corey, and Corey's just going to have to deal with it. That's what he gets for being a jerk every time we play. So, all right, um, there, yeah. All right, so let's do this. We're going to copy the layer. All right, and then we're going to use this as sort of a quick fill layer. Let's uh, let's actually use. Uh, all right, so um, no, what am I doing here? Okay. So we're going to use the mouse for this little bit here. Where'd my where'd my dumpy bucket go? There we go. Uh, dumpy bucket, and you will let's see. Great power core, I think. Swoop, swamp. There we go. And uh, a slightly lighter color here for dupe, dap, dupe, and dap. There we go. Yeah, that's Corey. <laughs> it's pretty much Corey. So. Um, all right, take it easy, Taylorhead, man. Thanks for hanging out. Um, all right. I appreciate it. So, okay, there we go. And then uh, we're going to take you, put you down here. That brings us over to here. So with Corey done now, uh, my next task is going to be just a... Oh, you know what? I really want to... I totally forgot about this thing here. So... Uh, we're going to unlock this layer. What's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to move you down a layer, too, don't I? And control E, yo ass down. All right. So now we're going to lock Corey for a second. We'll get back to you. And there is one more thing I want to do before I start coloring. And that is... Um, I totally forgot to add one of those uh, smiley face sectors on the shoulder. There we are. Okay, and oh, come on, we can do better than that. And dupe. There we go. I missed your last comment. No, I saw it. Thank you for helping me out with my snap maps. Really, all of us, thank you. You are one creative bastard. Without you, our snap maps would be boring as shit. I thank you. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Um, I uh, I mean, honestly, I, I think it's reciprocative. I mean, if I, if I didn't have, like, if I didn't get a hold of, like, the entire snap map community, this stuff would be boring for me. Like, I would just be constantly sitting there, like, eh, upvote, downvote. All right, well, who really cares what I think, you know? But... You know, being able to interact with everybody like that comes to visit me in the Snap Map community, and you know, watch me play and draw and all that fun stuff, man. Y'all, y'all keep it fresh for me. So thank you. You know, I I appreciate 
all of y'all listening to my, my stupid, stupid feedback, man. But I appreciate it. Thank you. There we go. Not the Bill Cosby. I can't get the image of him making the face after one of his scumbag moments. Oh, pff, God, yeah. Doll. You know, like... <laughs> you know, like... It's really like, you know, that's, you know, don't ever get old. Because, like, man, all your heroes turn out to be human beings with scummy lives. And, you know. Like, you know, it's crazy. So, let's see here. Man. You guys watch, man. You're going to find out that, like, I'm, like, a tax evader or, like, a, uh, I, I, fish illegally without a license or something stupid, you know. I mean, I can guarantee I'm, you're not going to find out I'm like a kitty rapist or anything like that because I'm actually like I'm a pretty asexual individual. Like, I... like I'm amazed that I was even able to reproduce considering how, like, just not even into sex I am. So... But... So, there's no danger of me, like, that happening, but... For all you know, like, I could totally, I could be, like, exporting, you know, I could be, like, exporting endangered animals illegally or, you know, tearing tags off of mattresses and, like, and then you're going to have to find out about it and be like, man, why did we ever even like Z-Manzilla, man? When, how did we not see it coming? How did we not see that he's a, a serial, uh, you know, friggin' tag ripper? Like, we are, we are ashamed we are ashamed. So. <laughs> Steve Rogers and Iron Man in the comics. Yeah, man. Like, seriously. You're like a guy who would... Who would... You around dueling people? <laughs> yeah, dude. I would... You watch, man. I, I would so totally, like... Um, you know what? I would... Uh, I, I would, you're gonna watch, man, I'm gonna, like, get caught, like, using my cell phone before the plane has fully come to a complete and utter stop, um, something like that, like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm such a, you, you watch, I'm gonna be so deviant, man, I'm gonna be such a deviant dude, um, let me see here, okay, 20 minutes left, um, I can, let me think here, you know, I really do feel like I'm overthinking this. So, all right. First thing that needs to happen is we're going to hide Corey here. And then, uh, all right, let's lock this layer. I'm happy with where it's at right now. Again, just a test here. And, uh, whoops. And then, uh, well, apparently what we got to do then is just make ourselves a color layer. All right, so let's uh, grab ourselves some nice green here. And we'll just uh, do to do and then uh, we got to put that under the the line layer here. Uh, okay, there we go. And yeah, let's get to coloring. All right, so we're just going to be doing sort of a base layer thing right now, and then we will get into the Mr. Fancy Pants stuff at a later point. But we just need we need a base layer to work from. Uh, okay, so. But I want to see if I can, I want to try to get this done by 7, because I'm, I got to start working on dinner at 7. And if I can totally, like, get this done in that short amount of time, I will be a super happy camper. So. Uh, let's see. Two, two, two. And oh yeah, that's right. The all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, snap map crew represent. Yeah, you know it, man. What am I cooking? I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking I might do. Um, I was thinking of doing uh like Swedish meatballs tonight because I got some egg noodles and I got some meat and you know, it could easily be done. On the other hand, there is always the chance that I'm going to get a text like 30 seconds before I'm about to put the noodles on where my wife's like, oh, can I order pizza instead? Because, you know, you deserve a night off. She, you know, it's, it's very nice of her to 
offer me the night off of cooking, you know. But she does doesn't have to because I really do enjoy cooking. I love to cook, man. I made something this morning that I pretty sure I invented. And if you guys get out a pen, I will give you the recipe for that in like 60 seconds. But it's super easy to make. It only has like five ingredients and you can make it in like a minute. If you're making somebody like breakfast, you can totally impress them with it. Um, my sister keeps having a debate. Who has the hotter voice, you or Rob from Comics Explained? Um, I, I don't know if I want to enter that debate. I, uh, I, um, first off, because I, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen Comics Explained. Um, but, you know, uh, I, I, I'm confident in my ability to win. But you know, I, I don't know. I mean. How low and deep do I have to talk? Tell me your sister's name. I'll see if I can... Uh, I'll send her a, a message directly and see if I can win that contest by saying something romantic directly to her. You know? <laughs> Either that or totally... Uh, um, you know. All right. So, real quick, though, that recipe. So, I... I Brock, shut up. Um, so, the... I Okay, so what you do... You take one cup of regular, just all-purpose flour. You take a tablespoon of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. Um, and you add, uh, was it half a, no, a quarter cup of brown sugar, or if you really want it sweet, half a cup of brown sugar, and a half a cup of water. You stir that all together, should make sort of like a doughy batter. And then you get yourself a grill. Uh, you um, <clears throat> you heat that you, you know you, you get yourself uh, excuse me a, a frying pan and you heat it up you melt about a, uh, you melt about uh, two tablespoons of butter into it just real butter not margarine real butter and you uh, you fry up the whole kit and caboodle in there it makes sort of like a cross between a pancake and a muffin it's really good um, all right let's get our flesh color here uh, which if I'm not mistaken is right about yay and uh, crank that up and give ourselves a base layer here. <coughs> Let's zoom in on facey face here a little bit. <coughs> and I think what we'll do is we'll actually focus on getting this face done here. I got about 15 minutes here. I might extend a little past 7 if I'm close, but uh, if I, I want to make sure I can get this done here. So... All right, so all right, uh, there are probably many easier ways to do this, up to and including using a larger brush, which I should probably be doing. There we go. <laughs> all right, uh, there we go. Spaghetti swoop. There we go. Now let's go ahead and uh, we'll take that down a little bit there. And um, let's uh, let's get this hand colored in now. One of the things to remember with the hand, I'm just realizing, is that my character actually wears sort of fingerless gloves, so I don't necessarily have to go whole hog on this here. I, in fact, I'm there. We go. I don't even know if I'm going to be doing shading on this. We'll find out. It all depends. Like, if it looks cool enough and people are like, yeah, I'd totally buy a t-shirt of that, but only if you do some shading, then I will go in and do some shading and put the sun of a gun on a t-shirt, you know? All right, now let's get ourselves some... Oh, yeah, well, I can always just copy the color later, but I really want to focus on this while I'm at it. Get ourselves some, some gray here to do the fingerless glove effect. There we are. All right, <clears throat> and then uh, sh there we go. Should probably just do all that too, just to be super safe about it. There we are, and that little bit in there I think is also going to be. 
Like, it's obviously, it's a, the real one is a whole lot more detailed, but like I said, I'm just sort of fudging everything right now. So, uh, boop, and let's get that other hand before I forget. All right, and again, we can use a larger brush. We're not limited to tiny little brushes. We are not doing lines. So, so. All right, almost done. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it just fine coming in the Elder Knight. Hold on. All right, so, uh, oh yeah, and the bicep, of course, has to be bicep colored. Otherwise, what's the point of all that veiny arm work that I did over there? Doggone it. All right. <sighs> oh, no, that was er, stupid. Anyway, all right, there we go. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Oh. Are you excited? It's almost done. It's almost done. We are so close to the finish line. Yup, yup. Alright, and, um, okay. Is that, is that all the skin? Am I done with skin? Yeah, I'm pretty much done with skin. Alright, so let's, uh, head back to yay facial area here. Get some get some details going on the facial area uh, we need some yellow for the eyes smaller brush please alright so, so I do know my character's eyes are yellow alright uh huh doopy doopy doo alright so and then real quick, get ourselves a tiny little brush because I, I did a I did a funny thing there. Oh, you know what? Let me do the white first before I start trying to fill in the red. Because then I can just I can just do this. Swipe. Brush your teeth. Brush them clean. Brush your teeth with dentine. Because they are all flesh colored. Oh, no. There we go. Brush them toofies. Oh. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Yeah. Mr. Krabs. I got mentioned in a doom thing. That sounds amazing. So what are you going to call it? Pan muffin? Muffin cake? Pan muff cake? <laughs> I was thinking of calling it a pan pan. Um, and the reason why is because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, pan is the French for, for bread. And I was actually trying to make flatbread when I did it, and it accidentally made batter instead of dough. And so, yeah, so I was thinking of calling it, a, 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 or I think it's pen is uh, the French for, for bread. So I was thinking of pan pen, pan, pen, or just, you know, pan pan because I'm American. So I, I'm just going to call it a, a brown sugar pan pan for now. Like, like I said, it was a, it was a, it start what started as an attempt to make a, uh, a flatbread for, for my breakfast because I was out of bread. Like it, instead of getting, instead of it being dough when I was done with it, it was, um, freaking, uh, batter. So, so it, it like, it, it, it was like, it was like too dense to be a pancake, but it was also like too, um, like. Uh, too dense to be a pancake, too loose to be a muffin. It had like this sort of in the middle texture to it that was just really, really yummy and like it, it was like nice and solid, like a piece of bread, you know. But it ate like a like a pancake with a lot of brown sugar on it. It's really good. <laughs> Cooking with Z-Man. Hey, I, I honestly I would love to do like uh, I would love to do like cooking things um part of the reason i don't is because i just don't have anybody to hold the camera for me while i do it so um all right so now we take this yellow here and uh time we got 652 so kind of pushing things a little but i think we can do this so uh we're going to oh yeah that's the other thing i need to do i need sort of a steely gray color for out here I do know that the 
the Iron Man thing in the center of my chest chesty piece is sort of a more steely gray than you know than the rest of the outfit so so we'll go ahead and just color that in like so and then um, get ourselves some of this yellow action here and do to do And just to be spiffy here, let's add a couple little shine marks to it. There we go. There we go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I would I would love to do a cooking show. So next, we need to get the get the this section colored in here. So now let me uh, let me see how much cheating I can get away with here. So first things first, let's uh, let's duplicate my ink layer here. Uh, so that I have a, a thing to stop the ink when I do this. Eh, close enough. All right. And uh, this. So, okay, there we go. All right, so now let's head back to the old brush -aroni here. There we go, and uh, okay, grab some yellow, and I want to zoom in so I so I don't have to do it more than once if I can help it. There we go. Hey, take it easy, Captain Falcon. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you hanging out. So close, he was almost done. Almost done. Alright. Yeah. One more here. I'm wondering, I bet, like if the if the YouTube thing works out, man, I bet you I could probably start playing music while I'm drawing. That would be cool. That way if you're not completely annoyed with me, like singing along with the brush strokes then you can be annoyed by my my music where I'm singing along to my music ah that would suck nah for real though man my songs are awesome <laughs> it's a artist I used to love growing up his name was Tony Conrad and he used to say if you don't like the records they make you gotta make your own and that's pretty much the reason I became a musician is and pretty much all the art and music and stuff that I do is for the sole specific purpose of the thing Tony Conrad said. Like, he really inspired me with that quote. He says, if you don't like the records they make, you gotta make your own. And he he said this during a show in which he, pl he played a violin atonally to a bunch of static. And, like, nobody in attendance knew what the heck was going on. Um, and, uh, you know, so, you know, it was that they're cracking down on copyright. No, well, I mean, that's, that's the trick of it though, is, um, if I play my music, I own the copyrights to my music. So, you know, yeah, like if I'm literally the person that created and is singing the music that's playing in the background, then they can't do Jack to me. So, I mean, I own it. So, I mean, I have, uh. I have something to the tune of nearly an hour's worth of music so uh, uh, that I created and I also have um, the rights to play uh, music from two other artists Jarv and Svetlana Tovarsh one of them is a really cool rapper from uh, Vermont and the other is a bit uh, chiptunes uh, player from Brazil and Svetlana is actually not only a very good friend of mine, but she's incredibly prolific, and her music is terrific. And, like, I could probably put on, like, a four-hour stream and just put on her music and never repeat a song twice. She's... And it would just be all good stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Pff, no worries, man. Like, I don't exactly front-load that I'm uh, a musician. 
Like, you know, it doesn't come up a lot during... I mean, although, like, with my videos, uh, my, my, my Let's Play videos or my reviews, I started using a song that I wrote called I Rule uh, as the sort of end credits thing, but eh, who sticks around for the end credits? So, um, but yeah, so I mean, there's that. Uh, what time we got? Oh, technically two minutes, but how we doing here? Well, well, we're about where we want to be. I think what I'm going to do is I, I do want to add the yellow to the inside of the horns here. Uh, and and then maybe... I mean, we still want to see how it looks with Corey, because, I mean... Corey, didn't, if Corey ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, so... we got to see how Corey looks. But let's finish the... Uh, Let's finish this part of it first here. I'm a little curious to know how close I got to <laughs> to it without any sort of like references to look at or anything. I mean, obviously my next one's going to be much better, but um, all right, you you and uh, all right. Corey, Corey, come out and play. Boop. Hey, well, not bad. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, what you think? Is it groovy? Do, does it please you? All right. Well, I'll be completely honest. I think I could do a lot better uh, if I uh, if I was actually trying here. But let's. Uh, I, I would need reference materials and all that fun stuff. But you know, I don't. And whatever, so. There it is. Alright. That is Doom Guy and Corey right there. You'd buy that as a poster? I'm going to hold you to that, Rejecting Gamers, because actually I'm going to be... Um, uh, like maybe not this one in particular, although I might do a t-shirt of this one or something, but, um, y you will be seeing this and many other designs that I do, uh, over on my, um, uh, my, whatchamacallit page. Uh, I have a, uh, I have a Zazzle store called Drawn Butter and I sell everything there from posters to t-shirts to mugs and all kinds of other stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you're really interested in buying this on a poster, I'll, I'll have, I'll have it ready in the next 24 hours to be posterized. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, definitely everybody. Thanks for watching, man. Uh, if you're looking for ways to, to help out the stream there, um, I do have, uh, let's see, uh, there's my Patreon, which is uh, patreon.com slash Um And also I uh, got a Streamlabs tip jar. You can find out, you can find that on my Twitch channel, all the links and fun stuff I'll, I'll probably have up the next time I do one of these. Um, so that you know and, and of course if you're interested in commissioning a piece or anything like that uh send me a private message either through youtube or uh twitter is another way to do it if you private message me through twitter you got something specific you want me to draw we can talk prices and all that fun stuff uh that way um but yeah man thanks for thanks so much for for joining me and uh for for hanging out and i hope you enjoyed uh hope you enjoy the drawing that's uh that's my little Doom guy. I'm wondering, uh, it, uh, once I do a better version of it, uh, you'll probably see some new channel art coming up soon. So, um, But yeah, I feel pretty happy about this test. So thanks so much. Have a, have a wonderful day and it, an excellent... <laughs> yep, keep calm and geek on. And oh yeah, Rejecting Gamers, don't forget to, um, I guess, send me a message with sort of a script of what it is exactly you want me to say and I'll try to get that recorded tonight, okay? Um, send that to, like I said, you can either send that to either my YouTube message folder or go over to uh, uh, Twitter and send me a, a direct message that way. Either way, um, I'll keep an eye out for it. All right, so this is uh, Doom Guy and Corey saying bye-bye. Uh, so, is it, okay, let's see if, uh, let's see here, hold on. So get him. Hi. Bye bye. Say bye bye, Corey. <laughs> that was so funny, Corey. <laughs> that was a very mean thing to say, Corey. You should take that back. <laughs> I'm so lonely.
Okay. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> I drew my little doom guy. Brock, get in here now.